Welcome to the 24th day of our 40 days of Lenten challenge. Our word of the day comes from the beginning of the Psalter, Psalm 1 verses 6 to 7, where we read these words. Therefore, the ungodly shall not be able to stand in the judgment, neither the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, and the way of the ungodly shall perish. This is the word of the Lord. If the sinner cannot stand in the congregation of the righteous, the sinner has no hope of standing before Almighty God. Even in the midst of judgment, the weight is unbearable to the ungodly. In this first psalm, we see clearly the hopelessness of the sinner. It is clear none can stand before the righteous one. And there is no hope. There's no hope at all in trying to help ourselves. There are no do-overs for the sinner. And an offense before God is forever an offense before God. When we find ourselves in trouble, our minds begin to try and to work ourselves out of that trouble. How might this be true of you today? When we recognize the consequence of, of our sin, we might also try to formulate in our minds a way out of that just accountability or that just consequence. Today, consider these questions. How do I try to earn God's forgiveness? How do I try to justify my sin? How do I attempt to make deals with God in order to avoid guilt or the consequence of sin? Well, truly, Psalm 1 speaks to the one who fulfills the law and has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly. He is Jesus Christ, our Lord. And you do not need to reason your way out of sin with him, nor do you need to try and make a deal with him. You only need to believe in him and believe on him, believe through him, follow him, be his disciple. And he will cleanse you. And he will remove the unrighteousness that keeps you from the glory of God. Consider this amazing truth anew today. The only way that we can save ourselves, you see, is if we abandon ourselves to Christ Jesus. How might you empty yourself to him today. May God bless you on this 24th day of our season of Lent. Amen.